Hey, what's going on everyone? Joe here from Backcountry Treks. Today I'm doing a pack dump and want to share with you everything I brought with on a recent 60 mile loop in the Sawtooth Wilderness. I don't know about you, but I can't stand lengthy drawn out videos. There's a lot of gear to cover, so I'm going to do my best to get through this as quick as possible without skipping out on any of the details that may be helpful for you and your future trips. I'm gonna leave a link in the description box below for every single piece of gear I talk about today. So if you're interested in any of that, please feel free to check that out. I'm gonna start on the outside of the pack, everything on the outside and the hip pouches and then work my way in. And hopefully this goes as smoothly as I'd like it to. Item number one is my pack. This is a 62 liter Z-Pax Arc Haul. Got my Lucy light, bring this with me on almost every single trip, it's solar powered, does a great job. Always on the outside of my pack or on the very top of my pack if I'm expecting bad weather is my toilet kit, poop kit. Brings dude wipes, TP. Don't have a spade shovel yet, I've been using a stick but I'll probably get one of those in the near future. I use a Sawyer squeeze and a knock dirty water bag. Works really well. I have had one bad experience with my Sawyer squeeze. It was actually winter time and it froze. I kept it on me inside my coat and it still froze. Um, so since then I have brought water filtration drops as a backup just in case, particularly on a solo hike. Got my Outdoor Research Helium Rain Pants, which did come in handy the last day. We got rain for several hours, so these were really nice to throw on. It was very cold and damp, and these did a great job. Sunscreen, must have. I'm fair skinned, <laughs> skin cancer. Bring sunscreen. I also wore my Outdoor Research Sun Hat to help combat some of those gnarly UVs. Got my stakes that I didn't actually end up using. This is for my tarp, but brought them with. Didn't need my tarp as we had good weather every day except for the last day on the hike out. But they are just cheap stakes from Walmart that are, I think, 79 cents a piece and have worked really well for me. Last but not least in the mesh pocket is my, I can't remember how to say the name of this. It's a $10 knife on Amazon. Super sharp, I use it mostly to cut cheese and fight off an occasional bear if need be. Clip to the outside of my pack is my GSI coffee mug. This thing's awesome, lightweight, love it, comes with me on every single trip. Of course, I brought my Thermarest Z-Seat, awesome multi-use item, and it also comes with me on every single trip. My cook set is just a little homemade Fancy Feast cat can stove and a homemade DIY windscreen made out of beer cans. And just a little container I got at a local Little Save Mart store to keep my denatured alcohol in. Unfortunately, I threw out both of my smart water bottles. I've used them on several trips. I repurpose them and repurpose them until they get kind of funky and then I'll toss them. Um, so I did toss the ones that I was using for the trip, but I brought a one liter uh, smart water bottle in my side pouch and in my little shoulder strap area, uh, I carried, I think it's like 0.75 liters. Um, maybe just a little less. So about one and a half, one and three quarters worth of water on this particular trip as there was an abundant source of water everywhere. Probably could have gotten away with even less than that, but some of the days were hot, reaching the lower to mid eighties in the direct sun at elevation. So we were chugging a lot of water, climbing some of those switchbacks. Also on one of my shoulder straps, I'm kind of a nerd. So I do bring a little battery powered, uh, thermometer. I bring this, it lets me know what gear worked well in what conditions. I have two hip pouches. In my one hip pouch, I have a battery bank, an ND filter, charging cable, and one extra O-ring. You can see that there. For my Sawyer squeeze, in the event the O-ring fails, the filter is useless, so I always bring an extra O-ring as well. In that same pouch, I got my Garmin InReach Mini so I can communicate with the wifey, uh, let her know that all is well and I'm safe and sound in the backcountry. Other bags just full of ibuprofen, a couple bandages, some Neosporin, pretty simple. I don't really bring much as far as a med kit. That's kind of personal preference. In my other hip pouch, I always bring a buff. They come in handy for a multitude of different things. My Nightcore headlamp. Blistex or chapstick, very important, very dry out there, at elevation, sunlight, whatever, cold at night. I think you should bring Blistex or chapstick on every single trip. 
course a mini Bic. I keep one in my cook pot as well, but I always have a backup because I'm OCD like that. All right, so that's everything on the outside of my pack. Now we'll work our way into the pack. The very top of my pack is typically my clothing or my poop kit. Obviously the clothing, some of this clothing I was actually wearing, so I didn't have all this packed, but I wore my Columbia Omni Shade sun shirt, wind shirt, whatever you'd want to call it. It's super lightweight, it's breathable. Yeah, love hiking with this when the weather is not freezing cold. I do love my Cole Renegade pants. They are the convertible stealth patented zip-off system. <laughs> um, I used to make fun of zip-offs until I started using them and man, they've been great. So say what you want about zip-offs, I like them. Dignity always stays at the trailhead. Keep that in mind. I'm a big fan of not bringing too much clothes. Uh, I think a lot of people bring way too much. They don't end up wearing most of the stuff they bring. That just comes with kind of time and experience and trial and error, but I'm always trying to dial the amount of clothing back that I bring. This being a mid-September hike in the Sawtooth Wilderness, it gets pretty warm during the days and dips down to, I think we had just above freezing each night, so mid to low 30s. Um, was also going to be jumping in some of those alpine lakes. So I did bring a little more than what I normally would, but this is what I brought that ended up working really well for me. A pair of socks that I was wearing and one extra. That's it for socks. Boxer briefs that I was wearing. Um, big fan of these ex officios. Um, and I brought one extra pair of those as well. So one pair that I was wearing and one extra. I don't like sleeping in the same clothing that I was sweating in all day long and hiking in. So I do bring a set of clothes to sleep in. For that, I brought just a cheap synthetic shirt that I got for free at one of the winter Spartan races and another synthetic t-shirt works great. And for my bottoms, I brought a pair of smart wool. Um, I think this is the heavy, although they don't feel very thick. They are nice and warm. So I slept in these the tops that I just showed you, and my Arc'teryx, I think it's a Cerium, I think I'm saying that right, puff jacket. A little tip, I got this, this is almost a $400 jacket, brand new at one of the retail stores. I went on eBay and got this used in mint condition for I wanna say like 170 bucks. So there's an option that is was almost half price and is still in mint condition, great buy. Very happy with this jacket. Down booties from Goose Feet Gear. Uh, I used these on the first night, and was toasty warm. Actually had to take them off the second night because I was too warm. These things are great if it gets, you know, below freezing. And the last piece of clothing that I brought was this REI Gore-Tex uh, shell. It did end up raining on our last day, like I said, so I'm glad I brought this and my rain pants. I ended up using pretty much every single piece of gear that I brought, so that was a win. So that's it for my clothing. As far as food goes, I'm not gonna show you every single thing that I brought for each day, but I did eat pretty much the same thing every day for breakfast, snack, and lunch. Dinner was different every night. I just used a different dehydrated meal. I'm a big fan of uh, oatmeal in the morning with raisins and peanut butter and just adding anything I can in there for extra calories. I ate one of these green belly meals uh, each day for lunch. They are 660 calories and they're pretty lightweight for packing that many calories. And uh, you know, I didn't have to stop and boil water or cook or anything for lunch. So these things are great for calories on the go. So I think my total food weight was uh, around somewhere between seven and eight pounds. Next up is my sleep system. I am primarily a hammock camper. So I did bring my Dutchware Chameleon hammock and had no issues whatsoever with that. I was a little bit not concerned, but unsure whether as to whether or not there were a lot of great places to hammock camp at some of the lakes. There are, in case you're wondering, that whole wilderness area is very doable for a hammock camper. So if you're a hammock guy and you're going to the Sawtooth, bring your hammock. Got my hammock straps from Dutchware gear as well. They're in a little Eno Atlas bag with the beetle buckles. And I brought my Cuban fiber uh, hex tarp from hammock gear that I didn't end up using at all because it was nice every night. The last day hiking out it rained, but we didn't camp that night. So um, I brought it, didn't use it. What are you gonna do? F it. Almost done here. The last two items is my 20 degree under quilt from hammock gear. Um, this thing has served me really well. Big fan of it. I keep it in a 
hammock gear uh, Cuban fiber stuff sack in case of that rain. Um, I don't use a rain cover for my pack. The pack that I use is pretty water resistant. Um, it will get damp inside after a long downpour, but this is just an extra measure to keep some of those important down items nice and dry. And last but not least, I used my Revelation 20 degree top quilt from Enlightened Equipment. Again, keeping it in a medium sized uh, Cuban fiber stuff sack from Hammock Gear. Unfortunately, I don't have a total weight to actually show you on camera, but I did weigh it at the trailhead. I didn't record it, maybe I should have. Uh, it came in right under 26 pounds. I think it was like 25.6 or seven pounds with food and water. So pretty happy about that. Um, my goal is usually to be 25 or under, but given the time of year in a area of the country or wilderness that I've never been to and wasn't completely familiar with, I did bring a couple of little extra items. All in all, it's a win, no complaints. Well guys, that wraps up today's video. I hope you found this helpful. If you did, remember to hit that like button and consider subscribing. Thanks again for joining me on Backcountry Treks, and I'll see you on the next one.